So one of the questions that I get asked quite a lot on the channel is of course who does Rudy end up getting Riv and there is definitely a lot of spoilers out there but there is actually a little bit of misinformation out there as well about who Rudy actually gets Riv because when the anime first started and still to this day some people have been saying that Rudy actually marries for women so of course i will be getting into spoilers so again if you don't want spoilers and why are you clicking on the video but to give clarification rudy only marries three women and it's pretty much the pokemon trio redhead bluehead greenhead no actually that is incorrect it's actually redhead bluehead and whitehead because sylphiet actually has her hair color changed and that is also to do with the whole displacement issue etc etc so to go over the basics of who he marries and in what order, the first girl that he marries is of course Sylphiet. Sylphiet is married in the school arc or the uni arc where Rudy ends up going to the university to learn how to deal with some of his issues that he has down below. Of course check out my light novel reviews for more detailed again breakdowns of that but the basics is he goes to this university to try and help with his lower region issues because he isn't able to get it up because he ended up having a one night stand with Eris and Eris ended up ditching him and she just basically left a letter saying I'm off to do some training and because of her lack of communication Rudy thinks it's because he's inadequate he has an inferiority complex he feels like she just ditched him because it was all his fault and he has this downward spiral where of course he basically can't get it up and this ends up getting worse and worse and worse in the next volume after that which is volume 7 which then ends up leading him going to the university of magic of course by the nudge 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 of the man god basically saying hey go to this place and it will fix your issue so of course he ends up going there and he ends up meeting a person called Fitz which is a white head elf and basically Rudy becomes very much attached to this Fitz and to be honest again Rudy believes this person to be male if you get the hint and Rudy actually starts to kind of have a deep interest in them and actually starts to have some feelings for them even while thinking they are male until one day a particular princess uses this situation to try and hook Fitz and Rudy together to rejog Rudy's memory on who Fitz really is, which of course is da 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 Sylphiet. Sylphiet lost her green hair due to the mana issues. Of course, she used up all her mana, and one of the side effects of using up all your mana is, of course, your hair basically loses its pigments and it goes white. So, of course, you would say, well, you know, it's only a hair color change. Why didn't Rudy realize? Well, of course, a bit of maturity kicked in, also different identity going under his fits, and also fits would wear particular glasses to try and hide the appearance. So, Rudy had no idea who this person was until some particular help basically jogged Rudy's memory and then of course Rudy decided to start dating but he still couldn't get it up and with the help of one of of course Sylphiet's friends again Fitz basically a aphrodisiac he took that he got a little bit too excited and ended up having a very very rowdy night with of course Sylphiet. Of course Sylphiet wanted this, this was Sylphiet's end game, she basically just wanted to get rid of Rudy because she's madly in love with him and that of course fixed his issues. Basically a guardian angel came from the heavens and fixed his lower region issues. So that is the first wife and of course she does get pregnant as well, I'll talk about the children in a separate video but that is basically the first wife. The second wife is Roxy. Basically shortly after that, after they get married, Rudy gets a letter saying hey I need your help, we're having some problems in the dungeon trying to retrieve Zenith. Rudy takes that call of course going with the particular foxy elf herself and they end up basically assisting Paul and the gang trying to save Zenas, but before that Roxy actually gets in trouble and Rudy goes in to save Roxy along with other people and basically she falls in love with Rudy. But after that basically some other events play out, again I'm not going to spoil everything but stick to the core components, some major events do happen that ends up leading Rudy into a massive deep depression. Roxy actually ends up sleeping with Rudy to try and alleviate that and of course she basically wanted to be with Rudy as well. So Rudy takes responsibility for that 
again, particular night, and he basically marries Roxy as the second wife. Of course, one of his particular sisters is not happy about it because she is a devout church believer, and she's very much, again, in that religious kind of mindset, but Rivsom persuades she basically goes, all right, fine, and agrees to it. And of course, Roxy is the second wife. Again, not gonna mention the children until another video. So of course, you would guess the third wife is of course, Eris. But again, you've got to remember Eris did make that letter. There was a massive misunderstanding. Rudy was definitely, you know, a little bit hurt by that. He does end up having a conversation with, of course, his old buddy himself, the serpent himself. And Rudy basically explains that, you know, you probably misunderstood some things. That does put some doubt in Rudy's mind. But basically, there are two timelines. And I don't really want to explain too much. But there are two timelines where it ends up leading to Rudy going back in time and explaining to Rudy that he needs to send a letter to Eris because of course everyone he cares about ends up dying and because of their differences Rudy doesn't end up actually contacting Eris which leads to events playing out in a negative fashion so future Rudy tells past Rudy to hey contact Eris send a letter and Rudy basically sends a letter saying I will let you join part of the family because again Eris is deeply in love with Rudy and he basically says hey become my wife join the family you know there's the third wife and she agrees and she comes and helps and they overcome the big hurdle that led to of course Rudy's family all dying and of course that was one of the reasons why she was training as well was to defeat a certain opponent that laid hands on Rudy again sticking to the main details not spoiling everything but that event led to, of course, them coming together, and of course, they ended up getting married, and she is the third wife. And I will say, as a bit of fun trivial, Eris is very much of a thirsty individual. She definitely loves to, yeah, get it on. And of course, another extra bit of fun trivial is, of course, Roxy also does get advice from a particular elf that's very feisty as well, <clears throat> Elise, in actually how to pleasure Rudy, which is funny being that, you know, there's some family ties that Elise should have been assisting someone else, but she doesn't. She ends up assisting Roxy more because they are very close friends. So I hope that does kind of clarify some of the information and of course give a bit of context to who gets married, why they get married, in what order, and all that other nitty gritty details. But again, I will talk about the children in a separate video. But if you want more information on particular characters and the light novels, check out the playlist down below. I've got the analysis videos and the light novel videos. Plenty of, again, jobless reincarnation content for you to consume it will take you a bit of time to get through it all so again i'd love to know your thoughts in the comment section down below and just a last quick note of course if you have any suggestions or any ideas or anything you want me to talk about on the channel when it comes to jobless reincarnation definitely put your suggestions down in the comment section down below and of course who your favorite character is out of the three girls but again if you like this video hit the like button subscribe for more anime content and i will see you beautiful nerds in the next video